to move out of my frame. No. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making a video. Would you go away? No. Bye. <laughs> Shanine, bye. Bye. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Click on that subscribe button and share on our and Give me a views on. Ah. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Shakay and I do vlogs, lifestyle, and speed videos. So if you're interested in that kind of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you're notified every time I make a video. Go out to class. <laughs> Teacher, please call your child. Every letter makes the sound of these days. We need you in another apartment. Wait. <sighs> So in today's video, you can see from the ties, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some activities that you guys can use at like youth fellowship, young adult fellowship. And since we have like a pandemic going on right now, activities that you can use online. So things that you can do on Zoom or Google Meet or whatever. So without further ado, let us get into the video. So the first thing I have is games. Now games, um, that's always a good thing to do because you know it's enjoyable, people will be engaged, you know. But I have some examples of some games. Scavenger hunt. So basically you go on um, Google, you or you can make your own. Um, just basically a list of things that you want persons to go inside of their house and to just find. So something blue, something um around you know just a scavenger list i'll put an example of one right here and basically just put this up on the screen give them a certain amount of time and then when they come back each person will show what they have so you ask all right let me see everybody's blue thing and everybody's gonna you know hold up the something blue you can ask them to find something taller than themselves you know but ensure there are some things that are easy and some things that are kind of hard to find so you know you kind of know have everybody having everything it's just a way to challenge them all right so the next one i have is pictionary now i play this with my group of persons once but pictionary i think i don't even remember how you guys do it originally but to do it online what i do or what i did was to basically um choose persons so i would choose the persons that i'm going to ask i choose so i would not be playing so i do the first one and i choose a word and i draw the picture and somebody guess the person that guesses it the first then i will text them the word that they're going to be using and i do that privately so that you know other persons don't know what word they get because the aim is to actually have them drawing something and other persons guessing what it is without them knowing the word get me so you can just text them separately and then they draw on their screen and whatever you know or if it's not something that you want them to draw on a screen because you know on zoom you can have them draw on a screen but if you don't want them to do that have them draw it on a paper and hold it up and that works you know all right so the next one is bible quiz now since this is a church activity knowing your bible is pretty cool and there are different bible quizzes online my mom has like a lot of bible quiz thingies um so we normally use those however you can just make up your own so you even choose a bible verse like say from the week before you choose a bible passage and then you ask them questions from that so that is actually a way of getting everybody you know to study their bible it's an interesting way to study a bible so you can use that as well then we have guess who now we did this at camp firstly um so basically we asked other persons to send in like baby pictures of themselves or like smaller pictures so like us young adults um would send in like some baby pictures you know baby pictures then and i'm gonna look like you all right so the next one is jeopardy um jeopardy is just basically you choosing questions and like money to go with it or whatever and then the person who ends up with the most points at the end would be the one that wins all right so 
that's quite a fun game and that is technology so it's easy to use that because basically all you do is create the powerpoint or you can create it on google chrome or on a browser and then just present that and that will be easy for you guys to use um charades now charades is basically you just everybody know charades play so you could pick teams and have them do it you know one before the other so if me and my sister is on a team i'm the one going to dramatize so she gets the, the you as the presenter or the person in charge sends the name of whatever they're supposed to be doing um acting out and then that person act it out and then me guess what it is you get my say? so everything basically every game that you actually have in person can actually be done online you know just find a different spin to it and then the last game i have here is abc fast or slow this game is a fun childish game which never gets old i don't know even as an adult i think people love to play this game this game is basically you asking everybody to go and get a piece of paper and a pencil and normally we do boy girl animal place thing and sometimes people will put in like artists and some hard you know some other art things it depends on what so as a church you can put in like a bible character to just make it a little more churchy a little more fun you know but basically all right so i would be the one doing it say so i'm the one doing it i would say abc fast or so they tell me fast they're gonna say start and you start the abc you start saying your abc in your mind and then they say stop whichever letter it ends on so if i start and end at f then everybody will have the time to write down their f words so f girl name f boy name f place uh, f um bible verse bible character depending on what you guys want and i think this is quite fun oh and you don't do it for every do, you do it until the person who says the abc first are slow they're finished and they say stop so once they say stop you know matter where you reach your office stops so it's, it's just a fun game yeah, so those are some of the games we play at our um, Young Adult Fellowship and like Youth Fellowship and so Mostly on a Young Adult Fellowship because we have Youth Fellowship like face to face and so um, So if you have more games, you know, other persons might be here that want to know more games, go ahead and comment that down below. Alright, so the next thing I have on my list is a concert slash a talent show. Um, this is quite easy to do because basically if you're doing a concert or a talent show most likely you'll be doing the talent by yourself so the only time the confusion is there on a zoom platform or on a um internet connection kind of thing it's when you're singing together so limit singing together and in groups but singing by yourself doing a poem by yourself to an act you can't even dance guys the possibilities are endless you know when i knew the possibilities are endless when we had summer camp and we pretty much did everything that we normally did in the physical space on the virtual space so we had um or morning exercises we had that online so each morning everybody will come and the presenter would come and she would present and everybody else in their own time because whatever you're seeing even though you're probably have it a little bit delayed you're still seeing it so it still it still works um so everything can be done all right so next thing i have is bible study um this is quite easy to do just basically just sitting with each other looking at each other you know one person could be presenting or each we have more than one it doesn't matter just study the bible um the next one i have is a debate now i really just thought about this because i'm thinking most persons would think you can only do a debate like in person um i mean in the physical space but think about it each person who is gonna actually do the debate actually will just do it by themselves so it can be done you know 
it can be done all right so you can also have a discussion you come up with a topic so somebody can come up with a topic that each person will just come and discuss about you just talk about topic all right so next one i have is a movie night and this can be done um it might need like person persons having a strong connection but it can still work and uh, we did this in camp and it did work so basically one person will come with the movie um present the movie and the others just sit and watch and then probably like have talking sessions afterwards and whatever the next one i have is like a sports day and in sports day you can do pretty much everything that you normally do probably just like the running part and you know the running part probably won't make no sense <laughs> um but i had just a little a few of them just like bun eating contest you have bubblegum contest you have pretty much you can name all of them I, I wasn't thinking of them at the moment but anything that you can do on you know physical space can be done on the virtual space um you can also have prayer meetings we have this at our church um not necessarily a young people kind of thing but we do it as a church on monday so that can be done um just do it as a something i don't know um you can have a art night so art meaning drawing painting pretty much anything um basically you just coming on is just for you guys to communicate so you just tell them hi you just tell them beforehand what you guys will be doing so if you're going to be doing painting tell persons before so they can get their painting stuff ready and with them so that when you're doing your um meeting basically you can give them a certain topic so everybody's supposed to paint a certain scenery or a certain thing or draw a certain thing but the thing is you guys will be on so you can be conversing while you're drawing or painting or whatever and then the last thing i have on this list is a teachable moment so teachable moment so you can have like presenters coming um that are very good at something so for example sign language i love sign language so i'm always gonna have to talk about sign language so you have somebody that knows sign language and they come in and they teach different times so you can have them come in like every other um week or like once a month and then just teach the sign language to you guys those are the activities that i came up with um they are pretty cool actually just to think about the fact that you guys can think of anything at all um that can be done in the virtual space it, you just tweak it a bit and it will be it can be used on the virtual space Alright guys, thank you so so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell so you're notified every time I make a video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below some more activities that you guys might come up with. Um, I'd like to know because I like to find new activities that we can do at our youth group. So yes, thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.